Hello, my friends. Today we are going to talk about The Measure by Nikki Ehrlich. Now, this is a literary fiction book with a fantastical element. The fantastical element is that everyone woke up and they have a box by their door or where they sleep, where they live. Inside this box, there is a string. The string is the measure of someone's life. The longer someone's string, the longer their life. The shorter their string, the shorter their life. So what scientists do is they figure out uh, the length of the string and how many years they still have left to live. Now, there is a lot of prejudice against people that are short stringers, people that might die soon. So there are people that might die in the next few months, next few years, maybe in a decade but people will not hire these people. Uh, there are issues with relationships. There are issues with people serving in the military. There's just a lot of prejudice and hatred towards the short stringers, especially after some of the short stringers uh, did acts of violence against other people. This story follows a group of individuals. Uh, one of them is running for office. He is trying to become the next president, and he wants to use the strings, use the hatred against short stringers to propel his uh, candidacy to the White House. There are two friends. They're both in the military academy. One gets a short string, and the other gets a long string. The short string person wants to be in the army, in the military, and you know, serve his country. The long stringer is having doubts. There is a doctor who has a very short string, and he has to decide what he is going to do with the few months that he has left. No one knows how they're going to die, though, which makes this very interesting. Um, there is a couple that didn't realize that they would have to rush into the milestones in their relationship. There is a pen pal relationship between two people. One person is a short stringer. The other person decided not to look at their string. Some people in this world have decided not to look at the string and just live like normal. And all of these characters are intertwined together by the end of the book. And their lives impact uh, other people's lives. And it's a cascading effect. What this book really shows is how much impact we really have in our lives. Regardless if we live a short life or a long life, it is the quality of life that we live, what we do for others, and how we impact our community, those we love, and the world that really matters. You can live a few years, but you can impact the world for generations to come by volunteering by giving your time and money to organizations, by having a calling in your life that is beyond yourself. Or you can live a long life and basically do nothing with your life. And really, what is the measure of one's life? Is it the amount of years that you uh, live, or is it the impact you make in your community and with the people that you love? I really enjoyed this. I give it around a 3.5, four-star rating. I thought it was fantastic. Uh, there were short chapters in here. Read this very quickly. And I think it is definitely worth borrowing from the library. And the thought experiment alone is worth reading because you're constantly thinking about how would this impact my life and how would this impact the people I love in my life? And am I leading a life that I'm proud of that I can say that I am impacting and changing the world, or am I not? Am I just kind of wasting my time? Am I wasting my strength? What is the measure of my own life? All these questions go through your head while you're reading this, and that is why I think this is worth reading. I thought it was fantastic. It's called The Measure by Nikki Ehrlich.